Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to access your network folders remotely through a web browser or from across campus on a PC or from a home PC to map a network drive or via mobile app. So we'll start at the alstech.ualberta.ca website. That's the ALS IT main support site that's also available via link from the ALS homepage as well as the department homepages. So we'll just scroll down to the Action Center. I want to select Remote Access Files. And any recent web browser will work. And it's quite straightforward. Obviously, if you need to expand your folders here, all your network drives that you're typically used to, your P drive, etc., will all be available. Uh, the folders as well. You can create new files as required. Any files you want to, you can actually open them right on site, edit them, you can download them. Uh, we do facilitate potentially moving them to a cloud service, uh, Dropbox, OneDrive, but typically there's more efficient ways to do that. And we find that this is ideal for people that have um, software where they need to move data back and forth and, and keep it on uh, network drives for accessibility and compatibility. That's pretty straightforward. Once you're done, you can just log out of the system. And that's how it is through a web browser. Now, you may want to actually map a network drive. And the easiest method to do that is open up your Windows Explorer and select from the computer icon, Map Network Drive. Now, in Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10, there's multiple different ways to get this. You can actually type in your search bar, Map Network Drive, and it'll give you a wizard to shop. So what we're going to do is we have the URL right here that is required. Now I get to cheat and copy and paste this because I'm doing the uh, video. This is the this is the address you'll need to use. As you notice, the S here. It's a secure connection. And since we're going to go over the web, okay, we'll select W. We'll paste in this address. And I'm not going to reconnect it, but we're going to connect using different connect credentials. Again, your ALS username and your ALS password. Some of you keep it in sync with your CCID password. It's uh, it's up to you which whichever method you uh, manage your passwords. It's, but it is your ALS user ID and your ALS password for this. And once there, you'll see again all the folders you required and you'll now see it's actually a W drive uh, similar to how any of your other network drives would show up and you can do this from a PC across campus or a PC through a high-speed connection at home you know be it Shaw or TELUS. The other method that we can connect to is you may want to use a mobile device so if we open up the mobile devices, the Apple and the Androids have actual apps for it. You can actually go to the ALS Tech website and many devices just have a, a you know run of the mill web browser. You can still go to the mobile app list link here through your mobile device. This website, the alstech.ualberta.ca website, is mobile friendly. So if you connect with a mobile device here, you will be able to click on these links directly. And you can log in the same way. The only difference is if you put in the app, this is for the iTunes, this is the Apple app, and this link here is for the Android phones, such as your Samsungs. If you do put in install the apps, it's going to ask you for a URL. Again, we'll provide this URL. This is the URL that you're provided, that you must provide to the uh, mobile app 
and then of course your AL's username, which is the same as your CCID, and your AL's password, which may or may not be in sync with your CCID password. And that is pretty much it for connecting to remote devices uh, to your network folders. Thank you.